how they tell you you need experience before you can get experience i felt like you needed to get your foot in the door just just so you can know if this is something you want to do if you want to go for this career you need to have passion for me it just drove the, home the point it's you know people need help and i want to be there for them caring for people is at the heart of health care but how do you really know if you want to spend your professional life doing that, let alone invest your time and money in a health professions graduate school? We want to make sure that you, the applicant, know that you like patient care, that it's something you'd like to do. We don't want you to go through all this work, get into the program, start paying tuition, and then realize like, hmm, it's not really what I thought it would be. While clinical experiences are not required for admission to the master's entry program in nursing, those encounters are factored into a holistic review of your application. Shadowing a nurse is a great window into what a career in nursing looks like, but you can also gain valuable skills by volunteering at a hospital or clinic, working with people as a home health aide, caregiving for an older family member, or even in a setting that has nothing to do with health care. One of the questions that I often get from applicants is what if I don't have relevant clinical experience? I'm not a nurse, I've not worked in healthcare. And so in those cases, I advise them to think about areas in which they've interacted with humans. The thing that is compelling is what you learn and what you took away from that, how that shapes your philosophy and who you wanna be as a nurse and what you wanna to contribute to your community or to society. Finding opportunities, paid or not, starts with networking. When I was taking the prerequisites at the community college level, and I saw the Latino Medical Student Association um, Club, and I said, well, I'm Latino, I want to go into the health professions, uh, so I decided to check it out. And it was a wonderful opportunity. For me, I was lucky that I work in mental health services and serving people. But for someone unsure, I would recommend them to like volunteer. Whatever and wherever the experience, the goal is to hone skills that are transferable to a career in nursing. Prioritizing, time management, reliability, dependability, professionalism, multitasking is another one. In addition to volunteering, you can attend a certificate program at a local college and then conduct a job search in that field. You can get yourself into a position where you um, get the coursework done to become a certified nurse's assistant. We call that a CNA. That is a really valuable experience. In addition to the CNA, there's also great experience as an EMT, especially when you commit to an ongoing volunteer position. Joining a free health group allows you to sign up for their newsletter and learn about opportunities that way. Your college career center likely has resources to find an experience, as do summer health professions courses. Also things like volunteering with organizations that are um, helping others in need, like volunteering with the local Red Cross or helping out with blood drives or um, being involved with um, camps. I think it's helpful to think about building sort of a portfolio over time. But again, the thing that is really important in terms of trying to get into those jobs is being able to show that you have what it takes to be a nurse. I feel like nursing for me is all about passion because taking care of a patient demands a lot out of you, physically, mentally, uh, psychologically. If you don't have passion for it, you will burn out. When I think about those experiences, it really makes me feel like I'm contributing now, that I'm a registered nurse. It was all worth it.